Alright, let's kind of get into what fluoride does to the canal gland. I would actually go in as far as to say that the animal fat milk, like regular pasteurized, homogenized milk, does the same thing, creates calcification. But as we can see, they're saying that this is the work of fluoride on the canal. And let's go down and see what this is. The canal gland. Fluoride is deposited here as a result of consumption of fluoridated water. So it's mainly the water. In 1955, Crest became the first fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride calcifies the pineal gland, otherwise known as your third eye, which literally has rods and cones just like your other eyeballs. Fluoride is so toxic that it is considered hazardous waste by the EPA. Very interesting. So this thing here, this is an ours for the picture, but in reality, in actual size, it's probably like that big when it's all putrefied down. It's supposed to be the size of a fist, so if this is like the hollow space within your brain. It's supposed to be this big. Can you imagine how powerful this thing would be? So, as it grows, it starts to rip out of this, and you can feel it expanding in your head. It's just quite amazing how literal it is. I mean, it's so literal that you just know that it's growing and it's getting larger. So that's what you do. You stare it into the sun and it gets healed and this starts to come off of it. And that's what you want. You want this to come off so you can have a working pineal gland that thinks clearly so you can have your polarity and, and your magnetic, electromagnetic, telekinetic abilities and all that shit. So uh, let's take a look at the polarity magnetic polarity um, forces let's check it out alright so the heart is the most powerful organ that controls it the most like the heart is the thing that goes off when you're standing in the sun it's like a fiery heart kind of situation and this kind of uh, explains that and if you were a battery or a magnet you'd have a south and a north and it would come out out from the hands, out from the top of the head, and when you're sun gazing and you're meditating, you can feel it spiraling into the top of the head, into the center of the top of the head, down into the body. It's incredible. And up to the feet and everything else, around and around and around again. And I'll do my hands in a circular like gesture to uh, to make this pulsate through the body even more. Check it out. The human heart thing about several feet away from the body. Very nice. Like a giant magnet. So the middle uh, pots and things like that, if you're not cooking with copper, um, it reverses that and it holds the magnetic pull inward. And it makes you um, a magnet instead of you uh, releasing uh, magnetism into the giant magnetic earth, if that makes sense. So it's like the opposite, whereas you would be uh, able to control this force coming and going, you're now only able to keep it in, if that makes sense. So you don't want to eat off of magnetic utensils, you don't want to cook with magnetic pots and, and iron and stuff like that, because it, it, that's what it does, it makes your blood completely magnetic. And your chakra alignment, which comes out of here, has a magnetic residue which allows the moon to pick it up which is that uh, magnetic pool. And you'll see that when you're at the edge of the oceans and rivers, you'll see that the moon at the horizon line will have a pool on your body, which is pretty fucked up. I feel the moon. Whenever I walk the dogs at night, I feel the moon pulling chi off of my arms and out of my hair. So it built a lot of it up. And uh, yeah, well, it builds, the energy builds onto your chakras to give you- chakras. Yeah, it's electro. Everything is electrical. Your brain sends off electrical waves and pulses in your head, and your uh, chakras are electrical. The sun is like electrical. This place is like an electromagnetic giant chakra. magnet. That's chakra. chakra, yes. C H A K R A. But uh, yeah, so you pretty much get the point. So that's it for today's toxic lessons. Stay away from the plastics, the chemicals, the soaps, 
whenever you meditate, you'll walk into an aisle full of soap and it will smell like fucking dog shit. It will make your stomach hurt. It'll make you feel sick to your stomach. And you know that <clears throat> the sun and the earth and everything is just making you sensitive for a reason. It's because those are certain things out there that you're being, uh, you know, dumbed down and numbed from, from feeling these chemicals. And they're highly toxic. So, uh, you know, I suggest that uh, if you want to see the sun for what it is, if you want to, um, you know, your body is made up 80% of water. If all of these chemicals are leaching into the water, if all this stuff is leaching into this stuff and this is leaching into that and you're eating this stuff and consuming it, then your body is made up of this because the water, let's check out uh, bottled waters, fluoride fluoridated bottled water all right so all of these bottled waters some of these most of these have fluoride in them anyways but these the ones that they claim to have like to come from the mountains and all that and oh it's it's good for you and you know this is what's bad this bottle here man they tell you it's bpa free just go ahead and drink it it's fine you know that's not the case. I mean, this chemical here is literally leaching into your water. It's flooding your water. And it's uh, chi retarded, among many other things. Whether you want to call it a free radical that could create cancer or many other things, it would be a chi retarded. So if your body is full of plastic, you're not going to use your, your magnetic chi, your electromagnetism, your telekinesis. You're not really going to use it as effectively. You should drink out of glass. And this is my favorite here, Mountain Valley Spring. But, uh, yeah. Form saliva needed to the brain to manufacture hormones and neutral transmitters. Regulates the body's temperature, sweating, and respiration. And sweat actually has memory. I was uh, heard from someone who schooled me on that. was like, hey, if you sweat and you're doing some meditation or something, let it dry up so your body can absorb the memory. Huh. Very interesting. Keeps um, mucosal, mucosal keeps mucosal membranes moist. Allows the body cells to grow and reproduce and to survive. What kind of water should you be drinking then? Flushes body waste mainly in urine, lubricates joints. Water is the major component of most parts. It fluoridated water calcificating your joints, lubricating them at the same time. Hmm. Helps deliver oxygen all over the body. Converts food and components needed to, for survival and digestion. Acts as a shock absorber for brain and spinal cord. So what water should you be drinking for all of that? And if you're drinking all of these chemicals, 80% of your body is water, 60 to 80%. So that means that your body is made up of chemicals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the truth, man. Stay awake.